this um, evening to my wife, Monica. Uh, words cannot express uh, how good it feels to call you that. You look absolutely stunning today. And I want everyone to know how lucky I am to be standing here in front of you as your husband. My Michel, the things I'm about to say probably aren't going to be new to you, as I've said them many times before. But today is about making uh, sure that the rest of the world knows that uh, I love you so much. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the future, to the past, sorry. Uh, when I saw you on our very first official date, back in London in 2011. Uh, I immediately knew that you were the one I wanted to be with. However, I was fully aware of the fact that it was just the beginning and in order to keep her beside me, I was gonna have to date her more often as the time goes. Unfortunately, believe me or not, uh, I was nowhere near being good at dating. Uh, therefore, I ended up reading online forums yeah, on how to arrange the very first few dates uh, and what to do during them. Uh, unfortunately, none of, none of them uh, provided me with any straightforward answer. So then I decided to take matters in my <laughs> own hands. I thought that London parks would be a perfect place uh, to meet up in. So that's where I invited Monica to our second date. We went to the so-called uh, Green Park and <laughs> and despite being slowly eaten up by stress, we had a really nice time. I, we kept walking and chatting until we realized it was already late and we both had to go home. When the time to meet up again came, I could not think of a better place, but yet another part, as the first one proved to be a great choice. So I took her to another part, another one, and by the time I realized we had already been together for two months, uh, you might be wondering why I'm bringing up all these things now. Well. The reason for that is simple. Uh, I just wanted to show you that she really was the most amazing person in the world. Uh, do you know why? Because during those first months of our relationship, I was so excited about the fact that somebody finally fell in love with me, <laughs> that only after two months, I realized that I hadn't taken her to any restaurant yet. <laughs> Can you imagine where? Where would I find someone uh, who would stay beside me for two months without food? Only that one girl, well, then after I realized what I had done, or rather what I hadn't done, I felt a bit embarrassed, but at least I knew that she really loved me so much. Since then I started talking to taking her to the restaurants more often, and our love kept growing stronger and stronger. Which finally, uh, which finally resulted in me getting down on my knees and, ask, and asking her to marry me. Well, you know what she said. Two more pages. Sorry. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in destiny. Therefore, I think there must have been a reason behind the fact that two people from two different countries ended up together. I think that this reason was true love. I think God has decided to cross our paths because he knew we were meant for each other and we were gonna love each other forever. I have already made that promise to you, darling, in front of the God, but I want to do it again. Monica, I love you so much and today you made me the happiest person in the world. I promise to always love you, be with you, protect you and help you whenever you need me. I promise to be a good husband 
and the father to our children. Now I'm gonna cry again, I think. <laughs> well, there is a saying which says that when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. In my case, I look forward to growing old with you. I love you. I would like to thank Sir Freddy and his crew for all the help you've done for us today. I'm so grateful to everyone for coming here and for sharing this special day with us. I know that it's not it's not easy for all of you to come here today, and all of uh, and some of you have to request days off um, months before. I I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, to my dearest. Mama and Papa, uh, I can't thank I can't thank you both enough for the love and care you showered me in my 24 years of existence. I know that all of you, that all of the people here, of all of the people here, you two are the happiest and the most proud to see your little princess become a full-grown woman and a wife for Adrian. Mama. Thank you for being my best friend and my rock. You're always there for me no matter what. You always make me feel that I wasn't alone, even I'm in the other side of the world because of our because of our constant phone calls. I know that there are days that when uh, that when you don't have any more um, chica, I kept asking you for the neighbor's chica. But the mere fact of hearing your voice makes me feel that I'm here with you. I know that uh, preparing for this wedding is so stressful and you sacrifice enough and I thank you for that, Mama. For my Papa, thank you for always making me happy when I'm sad. You have this weird sense of humor that makes me laugh, not because of the joke, but because of you. Thank you for always protecting me, loving me, and for always seeing me as your little baby and not and that nothing has changed. Thank you for all the sacrifices you've done as well for us, for entertaining my guests and my, my husband. Thank you again, Mama and Papa. I hope that I always make you happy and proud. I love you so much. Today I gained another parent, to Mamos Dorota. I feel honored and very lucky to have such a mother-in-law who accepts me and loves me like her own daughter. Without you, Mamos, I will never have Adrian in my life. Thank you for raising him so well. I promise that I will take care of him and love him for the rest of my life. Thank you for welcoming me into your family. I actually prepared a, a Polish version of that, so bear with me. Dziś otrzymałam nową mamę. Czuję się bardzo dumna i złączliwa, że mam teściową, która mnie akceptuje i kocha jak własną córkę. Buduwe nie te nigdzie nie spoktokołabem. Adrian dziękuję. Wychował was go na tak spianiało. Osobę obiecuję, że będę o niego debać i kochać. Godo Koncha, Jecha Jinkuya, Safri Sa Shengsa Menye Do Topoye Rojina. A big, big thank you as well to my maid of honor, my sister Joyce, although I don't know where she is now. <laughs> 
uh, you have been so supportive, helpful, and all the things a bride can ask for. Thank you for absorbing all the stress and all the things you've done for this wedding. I know that sometimes I'm overly annoying and demanding, but you know that I was stressed too. I love you so much, my little sister. To my two other maid of honor, John Lynn and Nira, the two others who gave their speeches in the, earlier, thank you for the long distance support and the love. Although you are not here, in my heart, both of you are part of my special day. To my brother, Paolo, thank you as well for everything. For being our driver, we were taking care of everything and for simply <laughs> being there for me. Although sometimes you are annoying too. <laughs> Ate loves you so much. I would also like to thank our best man, Sebastian. Thank you for accepting me into your family. I will be a good sister-in-law, like a true sister you never had. To all our bridesmaids and groomsmen, Carolina, Daria, Diana, Nico, Jerome, Big John, thank you all for being a part of my entourage. I would also like to thank my pretty cousin, Ate Joan, for making me pretty today. <laughs> I would also like to thank Tito Evelyn, although she's not here today, for, make a, for, make, for helping us making this church wedding possible. I would also like to thank my classmates who came from very far places. Thank you for all your efforts of coming here. And now to my Mishek. To my husband. It feels weird, but we are husbands and wives now. We have to get used to it. <laughs> I feel so blessed and thankful that God gave me you. It's just so amazing how two people from two different continents of the world find each other and fall in love. You are my first love, the love of my life, my best friend, and now my husband. It means so much to me standing here as your wife. Thank you for the wonderful day. Today has been so perfect. I never thought I would find someone who can love me this much understands me and tolerate my mood swings. My mood swings are really bad, but Adrian can put up with it no matter what. He really loves me big time, I think. I always remember what my mom used to say to me because of my mood swings, that I might never find a husband. But look at me now, I'm Mrs. Adrian Shirley. <laughs> a proud spouse of my mission. I love you so much, Mishek. I am so looking forward on building our lives together. I promise that you will be my first and last love, that I will always be there for you as your wife and best friend, and that I will scratch your back and brush your hair with my hands till you fall asleep. I love you so much, Mishek. Thank you very much to Adrian and Monique. Thank you for the trust that you gave to me as the host and for the wedding coordinator for the day with my wife, Kathy, and with the group. Thank you very much for that. To the family of Garon, maraming maraming pong salamat. Hanggang sa pagkatiki po sa akin ng gabi, maraming maraming. To the family of Shirley, thank you very much. To all the entourage, maraming maraming salamat. Sound system, thank you very much. Casa Nova, kaya palagpakan naman po natin, tutugtug pa po sila mamaya. Portico, thank you very much for the wonderful food. Marami pa pong pagkain, kakain pa po tayo. To Senario, thank you very much to our photographers and videographers. To our photo booth, maraming maraming po salangamat sa inyong lahat. Uh, this is my wish to both of you. Pre uh, prepare for your for the coming trials in marriage. Okay, you just pray. Okay, good luck for the kids. We will see you in London. <laughs> okay? Thank you very much. Kung sino naman po ang may dalang invitation, bibigyan po namin ng premyo. Okay? So this time, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our dinner with Happy Honeymoon! Let's dance from the Casa Nova Band! Thank you very
Stone hard machine. 